Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. Over the last several episodes, we talked about the first two commandments and have moved on to the third. We discussed worship, working and employment on Sundays, and now it's time to talk about the fourth aspect of keeping the Lord's Day holy, rest and relaxation on Sundays. Certain things about relaxation on Sundays are obvious from what we've discussed so far, that the obligation to rest on Sundays is for our benefit so that we'll have a properly healthy life, not just in terms of physical health, but in terms of mental and spiritual health and in our relationships with our family. Our first obligation is to revere and worship God on Sundays, but after that, the main purpose of Sunday relaxation is for us. The Catechism explains it extremely well. On Sundays, and other holy days of obligation, the faithful are to refrain from engaging in work or activities that hinder the worship owed to God, the joy proper to the Lord's Day, the performance of the works of mercy, and the appropriate relaxation of mind and body. Family needs or important social service can legitimately excuse from the obligation of Sunday rest. The faithful should see to it that legitimate excuses do not lead to habits prejudicial to religion, family life, and health. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2185. In this statement, we can see clearly that God wants us to honor the Lord's Day so that we have time to back off from work and experience real joy, as well as to keep up relations with our family and our own good health, which can also help us to have a happier life. I could go into more about how it's important to remember that joy isn't the same thing as pleasure, but I think we've pretty much gone over that in episode 40, What is Joy? I also don't think it's necessary to point out that this isn't a license to sin on Sundays. Even if you think sins make you feel joyful, that's still evil. The one thing we do need to keep in mind with respect to relaxing on Sundays is that a lot of times we start to do something that we think we'll enjoy, but in the end, we don't really feel any better once we're done with it. We need to be on the lookout for this kind of fake enjoyment and try to steer clear of it as best we can, especially on Sundays. That's pretty much all there is to say about enjoyment on Sundays. That's it for the third commandment. Next week, we'll move on to the fourth, honoring your father and your mother. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.